Welcome to Hive Time Friends with Teacher Lori. That's me. And today I have the very special privilege of reading my hundredth book. I took a break since all of this craziness started a little bit, so I would have reached it sooner, but really, this is my hundredth recording. And I am so grateful you've been here with me and my family to, to uh, experience this. I know this week we've had some very silly stories about Santa and staying home. And thank you for allowing me to share those. I thought they were important. Not the best ones, but you know what? That's okay. Today's book, though, is a classic. Mooseltoe. Mooseltoe. Look at his moustache. Do any of your family members have a moustache? Okay, parents, I got you. 10 minutes, go enjoy. Let's get your hands up. Put your hands up, put your hands down. Slide them very slowly. Slide them very fast. Put your hands up, put your hands down. Oh, jingle a jingle bell slowly, like a big jingle bell. Jingle it very fast. Jingle, 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 jingle. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> Dixie thinks that's funny. Put your hands up, put your hands down. Clap them very slowly. Clap them very fast. Lay them in your lap. Now it's time for Mooseltoe by Maggie Palantini, illustrated by Henry Cole, and it's Scholastic. Mooseltoe, my hundredth book. I'm really proud of myself. And you know what? It's good to be proud of yourself when you meet milestones and achievements. But So thank you for being here for this milestone of Hive Time. I'm going to scoot this way because I can't read this way because I am not Ruby and left-handed. <laughs> I know, Dixie. She said, you ready? Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tunefuls of tidings and a flurry of fa-la-las. He was so full of ho-ho-hos, even his moustache had holiday spirit. Look as hot cocoa is f f um, falling, but he has three marshmallows. Can you see the three marshmallows? But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was lots to be done on his list of to-dos. But with orderly organization, a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination, and just plain old Moose know-how, getting ready for the big day have, should have been easy. Easy. Yes, in all probability. Just perfectly perfect. Look at his glorious moustache. He wasted not one merry moment. Moose got moving and put some hustle into his holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He stopped shop till he dropped. Check. He hauled home boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Check, check, check. Then he wrapped yo, 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 and he ribboned ho, 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 and on each and every package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, perfectly perfect. Another look at his list, and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out pots, pans, and bowls, shifted through sacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right. Moose baked tons and tin, tin, oh, blah, sorry. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. Dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets. Check, check, check. He made jelly, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 triple check. Yes, yes, so easy, so simple, and, but of course, perfectly perfect. I think Moose might be getting tired. We'll see. Decorations were on next on his list and things to do and get done. So Moose decked the halls, then spruced up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and mooseltoed. He gathered and garlands, roped wreaths, and holly. Jingle bells, sang noels. Oh, 
Good golly, this moose was jolly. Check, 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 check. Can you check with me? Check with moose. Check, 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 check. Good snow. Check, check, check. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one, with special care. And just in time, too, soon Santa would be there. Check and final check. Yes, sir, Reed, getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap and so simple, so easy, and he did it so himself. Moose thought really, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. On the night before Christmas, Mother, Little Sissy, Bucky, and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh, dear, sighed Mrs. as the five stared at one empty room. Oh my, oh me, oh gee. Pop, what happened, cried Junior. You forgot the tree. I'm kind of busy. Also, he was doing it by himself. Maybe they should have offered to help. I bet you offer your family. Oops, what would they hang the tinsel on? String the popcorn, light the lights. Where would Santa leave the gifts for kitties on Christmas Eve night? So Moose pulled out his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow, and that all there was to that. So out went Moose, braving blusterly blowing winds in the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous yeah. and bold. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Moose first hoofed yeah. down to the corner, not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block, uh-oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked up and down the lanes and alleys, Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not a lousy bolus bough hanging around. Not a, nope, nothing. Not a tree to be found. No tree, sighed a sad moose, and he came home empty-handed on the snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But moose could plainly see they were short on glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In an empty corner, he stood and spread out his arms wide. Then he smiled at his children and winked at his bride. Kids, he declared, fetch your forgetful pop, some of the tried and true family glop. So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue. And without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They took apart each grabbing strand, taking hold. Then carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped and they plopped and they pasted and they pressed. They curled and twirled which way a follic could which way a follicle could fathom until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more marvelous to see. Don't put glue in any of your family members' mustaches, please. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from head to his toes and draped him with tinsel beginning right to his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and balls that were twinkled. Candy canes, berries, and plums, sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back and Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh, ah. Yes, Moose was truly one incredible sight. He was a glorious and glowing and oh boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. Then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss and a pat, and they all headed off to bed. Except for Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. And oh, it wasn't so, it wasn't so simple, and it wasn't so easy, and okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? It was pretty close. Ho, ho, ho. What a giving family member to his family. I bet there's someone in your family that's a giving family member too. Mm. Can you think of them? Maybe give them a thank you today. A thank you to your parents for may, trying to make this holiday special, doing anything they can. Something nice. Thank you to your sister or brother, cousin, wow. teachers. Wow. Okay, friends. Thanks for sharing that book with me today. Please subscribe to this channel so you know the next time I have a story coming out. And I thank you for being in my tribe and helping us all survive and thrive and enjoying our hundredth book. Yippee! Catch those bees with me. Bzzz. And bring it home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! Stung me. 
I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. They said what? I'm sorry. How can I help you? I appreciate you. It was an accident. It was a mistake. I know when I can say I'm sorry or I need help. I let go of my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I let go of my baby bumblebee. They're happy to be free. Bye, bumblebees. We'll see you next time on Hive Time. Thanks for joining me.